Hmm. I actually don't have a witty intro this time. I don't have anything that I feel like you should know about before the actual Music Monday begins. This is awkward. I guess we should start the show. All right, guys, I am back for another Megan's Music Mondays. This one's gonna be kind of weird because we're in the dark and I don't have a light. So we're just gonna have to deal with this glare that's gonna happen on my glasses from my computer screen. So I'm sorry about that. But as I said, it is Monday and it is time to share some music. This episode's gonna be fairly short because I only had really two songs that I've been listening to this week that I fell in love with. So let's begin. So up first is an artist by the name of Sabrina Claudio. I think I'm saying her name right, hopefully. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but she has a new song called Unravel Me. And oh my goodness, guys, when I mean she just, she hits those notes so perfectly and just everything that she's saying is so perfect and her voice is so effortless. You see, I'm still holding myself. That lets you know that this song gives me the feels. She's such an amazing artist. I love the music video. I think this is the best music. She always, actually, she always does good music videos with her songs. So she's just an all around good artist. I actually first found out about her because of her Instagram and her YouTube videos. She would always, sing covers of other people's songs and I was just so happy when she finally started making her own music because when I mean she's got a voice on her, I'm so ready for more people to find out about her because I love her. She, I don't wanna compare her to anybody but she almost kinda reminds me of like a, I don't wanna say Nora Jones, but she just has that sultry, seductive vibe without even trying and that's what Nora Jones did with her with her music and I feel like she's doing the same exact thing except her pitch is totally different from Nora Jones so as I said her YouTube videos and her Instagram was how I found out about her all her different covers and when she did start making her own music she put out an EP last year called Confidently Lost and it had about seven tracks on it but my favorite on that EP is called Tell Me. Y'all, when I mean I killed that song for months, even until now, it's always been my favorite song of hers, but she put out this new song called Unravel Me now, and so, yeah. Tell Me will always hold a special place in my heart, but Unravel Me is, she took it to a whole nother level. She's up in her game and I'm proud of her. I hope she keeps putting out more music. I think she said that this new song, Unravel Me, is for an upcoming album. So I'm excited about that. Um, so we'll just see what more she has in store for us in the future. I hope she keeps it coming and more people find out about her because she's very talented and gorgeous. The woman is gorgeous. The only other song that I've been addicted to this week is called Love and it is by an artist named Dean and he has Sid from the internet featured on this song. And when I mean it is going to get stuck in your head, you're just gonna be wandering around singing, where is the love, is the love, is the love. And there's just so many different parts of this song that get stuck in your head. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah, it's so many parts of this song that get stuck in your head and that is such a good thing that if you catch yourself wanting to sing a song all day every day it, that means it's a hit it's a hit and what's really cool about him is I've never really gotten to k-pop like that I want to say about two years ago there were two different k-pop groups one was a boy group and one was a girl group that I was listening to but I kind of stopped but like I said, what's cool about him is he's actually a Korean R&B artist. So for him to make hits that can connect with people over here is pretty amazing. When I first started listening to Dean, I honestly did not know he was Korean. I thought he was a black artist from over in LA or something because the artists that he chooses to feature and make music with are other black contemporary R&B soulful artists like Sid and then 
I first found out about him because he had a song floating around on SoundCloud that was really popular and it was getting a whole bunch of reposts and it had Anderson Pack on it or Anderson Pock, I still don't know how you're supposed to say that. But it had him on it and the song was called Put my hands on you and when I mean I was in love with that song and couldn't stop listening to it. So when he put out this song this past week with Sid, I already knew I was gonna love it because I love his voice and I love his music and their voices together is a match made in heaven but he seems to do that with anyone he features with. He can pair his voice with them very well and this song is no different. The song itself is very groovy. It'll make you want to sing along, as I said before, but what I love most is the switch up. At the very end, he breaks it down and it, it switches from this jazzy, groovy vibe to a funkadelic kind of hit. And he's just serenading and he hits those notes, guys. And when I mean he is a good R&B artist because he can hit some high notes, this man is out here killing it. I need him to make more music that will be played here in America because if not, I'm just gonna have to, every time he puts something out, I'm gonna have to be on it. I don't know, but I love him. All right, folks, so that is it. As I said, I didn't have a lot of music that I was really listening to this week. It was just those two that stuck out in particular that I've been replaying all day, every day this week. So I will put the links below to the music videos as well as um, their sound clouds and yeah i will catch y'all on the flip side for another megan's music mondays um but i guess i'll leave y'all on a note of an old school song that i've been killing this week non-stop it is by the loose ends and it's called hanging on a string and i wish i could play it for you but when i mean that's one of my favorite old school songs you never tell me you were waiting, contemplating. It's just, it's so good guys. Go listen to it if you haven't heard it before. I think I'll probably start doing that for y'all, adding little old school songs that I love as well. So yeah, I'll go ahead and add that track below by The Loose Ends. Um, there was a video to it. I remember watching it as I was younger. So I'll find it on YouTube and I'll link it below. It's really them going through like a forest with, well, I don't wanna say a forest, but it's like a whole bunch of trees and strings. It's very abstract. Typical old schoolness. Anyway, I will link it below and I will catch y'all next week, hopefully with some more music besides just two songs. But you know what it is, what it is. These two songs were perfect and I hope that y'all love them as much as I do. So bye guys, see you next week.